The MF1500 smart device is equipped with cutting-edge technology for gold, treasure, and groundwater detection through four different and advanced detection systems. Users can operate it individually to confirm the locations of targets underground using multiple systems and technologies. Firstly, the front interface of the main control unit includes display screen, power button, move button, enter button, back button. The device's rear and side interfaces contain charging socket, wireless antenna connection socket, soil support unit connection socket, which is implanted in the ground to transmit frequency waves from the device to the ground. Headphone socket. Secondly, how to operate the device and adjust its settings. Turn on the device by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds, then wait for the welcome interface to finish. The main menu will display battery indicator, search menu, settings menu, access the settings menu to control, screen brightness level, sound intensity level, language selection, English, French, Arabic. Choose the desired language. Return to the main menu. Navigate to the search menu to select the desired detection system. Remote detection system. Ionic detection system. Ground sensor system. Thirdly, select the remote detection system to display the four main target menus. Metal list including gold, silver, copper, and bronze. Water list including natural water, mineral water, salt water, and all types of water. Gems list including diamond, emerald, meteorite, and all types of gemstones. Cavities list for detecting caves, voids, and tunnels. Navigate to the metal list, for instance, Select Silver. This will lead you to the Search Criteria interface to choose the desired search distance, up to 2,000 meters. And then select the desired search depth, up to 40 meters. After pressing Start, a new interface will appear to choose the search method for the remote detection system. Firstly, the line tracking system, which consists of Receiving antennas. Connecting wires between the antennas and the receiving device. Turn on the receiving device and select the line tracking system from the main unit to establish wireless connection between the two units. Press the sound button to control the receiving unit's volume. The process of detection and search using the line tracking system involves planting the soil support unit in the ground connecting it to the device. Connect the line tracking unit parts by linking the power connection wires between the antennas and the receiving device. To start the search, secure the receiving device on a belt or place it in a pocket. Hold the receiving antennas horizontally to the ground and maintain their balance. Start rotating around the main unit's location where the soil support unit is planted within a two meter diameter circle. 
stop when the antennas intersect above the power line, connecting the device to the target directly. Follow this line by advancing and walking in a zigzag pattern, with the antennas opening up and becoming parallel when leaving the power line's field, and converging when passing over the power line again. This allows tracking the power line to reach the target. When the antenna's intersection stops, indicating passing the target location, observe the antennas turning backward, indicating the target's presence between the last intersection of the antennas and the point of their backward turn. This method helps identify the target location using the line tracking system. Secondly, the handheld searcher system, consisting of transmitting and receiving antenna, grip, long range handheld unit, turn on the unit, you'll notice a red status. Select the handheld searcher system from the main unit for wireless connection. The status will change to green. A red indicator points to the pre-selected target from the main unit. You can alter the target directly from the unit and use the laser for nighttime target identification. Detection and search method with the handheld searcher system. Connect the antenna to the portable unit. Attach the carrying handle to the unit's bottom and then power on and link the handheld searcher unit to the device as previously mentioned. Extend the antenna length to strengthen the received signal from the target. Hold the device through the handle, ensuring it's horizontal to the ground and slightly tilted toward the soil. Move the device left and right to stimulate transmitted waves. Rotate around the main unit in the same manner as before. To receive readings from the device by aligning it toward the target field. Advance toward the target in accordance with the antenna's direction and path, zigzagging or proceeding straight. Until the antenna turns backward, signifying surpassing the target location. Turn around and walk slowly, stopping when the device rotates left and right indicating you're directly above the target. Thirdly, the ionic detection system, consisting of ionic sensor, ionic detection unit, Comprising power button, sound level control button, ground calibration button, lamp activation button, visual search indicators, battery indicator, headphone socket, charger socket, 
Turn on the unit by pressing and holding the power button to hear a sound and intermittent flashing in the visual search indicators. Choose the ionic detection system from the main unit, then select the desired target and start. The ionic unit emits sound signals upon successful wireless connection. The sound and visual indicators increase as you approach the target. To control the volume, press the sound button. Night illumination can be activated. The sensitivity level of the system can also be controlled using the calibration button by pressing it once, twice, or three times according to the location being searched and the nature of the noise in the ionic fields at the site to obtain accurate results. Press and hold the volume key to activate or deactivate the vibration feature. The detection method with the ionic detection system involves setting up and calibrating the sensor unit as explained earlier. Direct the ionic unit towards the expected target. When a target is detected, ascending audio and visual signals guide you closer to the target until reaching it. Fourthly, the ground sensor system. Selecting this system prompts a connection alert between the ground sensor and the device. As a result, when detecting a void, the indicator moves left in blue, while detecting metals moves the indicator right in red. Simultaneously, a graphical representation illustrates the target's size and location along with ascending sound effects. The detection method with the ground sensor system involves setting up the system, connecting the ground sensor to the device as previously explained, and calibrating the device with the ground if necessary. Connect the headphones. Then, carry the sensor vertically approximately 20 cm above the ground. Start walking in the search area and monitor the results screen and graphical representations. Adjustments in audio and graphical levels indicate proximity to the target. until reaching the highest level directly above the target. Note, upon initial device startup, Select your device's language. Thank you for your attentive following 
and we hope this explanation has been comprehensive.